welcome to Magnify Glass TV. Today, we will step into the wonderful world of giant birds, the ambassadors of the sky. From the cold snow regions among the mountains to the mysterious tropical forests, we will follow the wings of the pilots in the air to explore the stories behind their majesty and grace. From the heavy birds with soft feathers to the playful predators, we will discover the beauty and uniqueness of the 10 largest bird species in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any adventure with Magnifying Glass TV. Let's start this journey with Magnifying Glass TV right now. First, let's explore the snowy albatross or wandering albatross. One of the largest bird species is the snowy albatross, which usually lives in the South Atlantic and North Pacific. They are considered to have the largest wingspan of all birds. There are 24 different types of albatrosses and especially the snowy albatross. This albatross has a body length of up to 1.35 meters, weighing from 5.9 to 12.7 kilograms. The largest wingspan of this bird was confirmed to be about 3.7 meters. The name, wandering albatross, originates from the fact that due to physiological characteristics, this albatross wanders throughout the flights and spends most of its life flying. This bird silently flies a thousand kilometers over the water. Therefore, their home is not land, but the ocean and sea. The habitat of these traveling birds is the water adjacent to the icy Antarctic and the southern coast of Africa, Australia and America. Some can be found in the northern hemisphere of the planet, but extremely rare. This bird only produces one egg during mating. The young snowy albatrosses only need a month to fly far. The snowy albatross flies well and swims well, but it does not dive. The entire life of the birds takes place on the water and in the air. Only in the breeding season, they have to stay in the nesting area. During the flight, the wings form a straight line with the body. The two legs are connected and stretched back. Albatross called a large and powerful bird. An interesting fact is that from the ground, even when running up, an albatross cannot take off. To do this, the snowy albatross must find a hill or a rock, and from there, plunge down, go straight into the flight. But from the water it can take off without any problems. The remote islands are the ideal place for them to live in the breeding season. Second, we have the mute swan. The swan is the largest and most beautiful water bird. The mute swan or white swan is one of seven swan species in the world. They are named mute swans because of their silence and only hiss when threatened. Adult female swans weigh about 9 kilograms while males weigh about 11 kilograms to 15 kilograms. Mute swans start breeding when they are 3 years old. From mid-March to May, mute swans build a large nest for the female to lay about 3 to 7 eggs. The eggs are laid 2 days apart, with an incubation period of 35 days. During the breeding season, male swans defend their territory very tightly and aggressively with any intruders, even fighting to the death. They often threaten people who dare to approach the nest while making a hissing warning. They can use their wings to strike a painful blow to the opponent, they do not bite. When hatched, the cygnets are gray and fluffy. However, it is quickly replaced by brown feathers. This is a bird species found mainly in Europe. Each swan can be 1.5 meters long and have a wingspan of up to 2.4 meters. This bird looks very graceful with its S-shaped neck. With intelligent nature, instinct is a fairly warlike species, mute swan is loved by many people. Small fish, insects and other organisms in the vegetation are found in the water areas are the main food of this bird. In England, mute swans were considered a domesticated bird until the 20th century after being raised by the kings who ruled in the 12th century for the first time. According to bird surveys, the number of swans in England has increased by 250% since the 1960s. Biologist Alan Frake of the UK Environment Agency said that each mute swan can eat up to 2 kilograms of watercress per day, which can harm one of the rarest mammals in the kingdom, such as the water vole. At the eighth position, we have the Dalmatian pelican. The pelican is a large-bodied bird belonging to the order, Pelicaniforms. There are eight species of pelicans still existing, and all of them belong to the genus, Pelicanus. However, this genus is very diverse, as fossil evidence shows that there are more than 10 species of pelicanus. Pelicans have a characteristic pouch attached to their lower part. The smallest pelican, brown pelican, has a wingspan of 1.8 meters, while the largest, Dalmatian pelican, has a wingspan of up to 3 meters. 
The Dalmatian pelican is a giant member of the pelican family. It breeds from southeastern Europe to India and China in marshes and shallow lakes. The nest is made on a rough pile of vegetation. The Dalmatian is the largest bird among the pelicans and some of the largest living birds. It is 160 to 183 centimeters long, weighs 9 to 15 kilograms and has a wingspan of 290 to 351 centimeters. With an average weight of about 11.5 kilograms, it is the heaviest flying bird in the world on average, although the ostrich and the swan may exceed the pelican in maximum weight. This bird usually eats fish, sometimes also crustaceans or some small birds. They always wear their familiar gray-white feathers with a long beak and a yellow-red pouch. The breeding season of the Dalmatian pelican starts from late March or April. Due to the increasing threats such as dry ponds, lakes, marshes, indiscriminate hunting, water pollution and climate factors, this flock-loving bird is increasingly narrowed in population size and has been listed as vulnerable VU, in the IUCN Red List. The seventh position in the list of giant birds is the Andean condor. The Andean condor or vulturine vulture is a bird belonging to the New World vulture family. This species is distributed in South America in the Andes, including the Santa Marta mountain range. In the north, its range starts in Venezuela and Colombia, where it is extremely rare, then continues south along the Andes in Ecuador, Peru, and Chile, through Bolivia and western Argentina Tierra del Fuego. They are ranked among the largest birds in the world, weighing up to 15 kilograms and standing up to 1.2 meters with a huge wingspan of 3 meters that helps them fly very well. Its habitat mainly consists of open grasslands and high mountains up to 5,000 meters, 16,000 feet, above sea level. It prefers relatively open areas, without forests that allow it to detect dead animals from the air, such as paramo or rock, mountainous areas in general. They usually look for dead animals of wild and aquatic animals like other vultures to feed on. The Andean condor has a lifespan of about 75 years and a slow reproduction rate, so this bird is facing the risk of extinction. For the first time in history, a group of scientists attached a recording device that they called a daily diary to eight Andean condors living in the Patagonia region, mountainous area between Chile and Argentina, to monitor their wing activity in a total of 250 hours of flight. Remarkably, the birds only spent about 1% of this time flapping their wings, mostly during takeoff. One bird even flew more than 5 hours, over a distance of 160 kilometers without flapping its wings. Next, let's explore the Cori Bustard. The Cori Bustard, scientific name, Ardiatus Cori, is a bird in the Bustard family. The Cori Bustard is found throughout southern Africa, except in areas with dense vegetation. They are common in Botswana, Namibia, southern Angola, in localities in Zimbabwe, rare in southwestern Zambia, southern Mozambique and eastern South Africa. A geographically isolated population in the desert and savanna of northwest Africa. Here, the range of the species from southern Sudan, northern Somalia, Ethiopia through Kenya, except the coastal area, Tanzania and Uganda. The male is 120 to 150 centimeters long, 71 to 120 centimeters tall and has a wingspan of about 230 to 275 centimeters. On average, the male weighs about 10.9 to 16 kilograms, averaging 13.5 kilograms, but some individuals can weigh up to 20 kilograms. The female weighs an average of 4.8 to 6.1 kilograms. The female's length from 80 to 120 centimeters and usually less than 60 centimeters tall and has a wingspan of less than 220 centimeters. Body size is generally larger in the southern African population and body weight may vary depending on rainfall conditions. The Cori Bustard is one of the heaviest birds in the world. Despite having such a wrestler physique, this bird can still fly smoothly in the air. The Cori Bustard is an omnivorous species. They eat everything, from grass, berries, seeds, roots and flowers to insects such as locusts, beetles and caterpillars. This bird is ranked sixth in the list of the largest birds in the world. At the fifth position is the South American Ostrich. The South American Ostrich or American Ostrich, scientific name, Rhea, is the only South American Ostrich genus in the same family with two bird species living in South America. The main food is plants and insects. They live in the grasslands of Argentina, Brazil, Bolivia. This bird is considered one of the largest birds in the region. 
Each ostrich can weigh from 35 to 40 kilograms, they have wings to balance the body. The South American ostrich is a large flightless bird with gray-brown feathers, long legs and neck, similar to the African ostrich. They can be up to 1.7 meters tall and weigh up to 40 kilograms. Their wings are large for flightless birds and spread out when running, acting like sails. Unlike most other birds, the South American ostrich has only three toes. The bones of their ankles have horizontal plates on the front of them, with the gradual introduction of this native ostrich into the natural environment, conservationists hope to maintain the survival of this species. The South American ostrich is an essential part of the Patagonia ecosystem. They often eat grass and this has helped breed crops and distribute seeds throughout the region. This running bird has big, strong and powerful legs to fight off enemies. Not only that, the female ostriches usually lay 50 eggs for one incubation, and their eggs are even bigger. The fourth position in the list of the largest birds in the world is the emperor penguin. The emperor penguin, scientific name Aptenodites forsteri, is the largest and heaviest of all living penguin species and is endemic to Antarctica. The male and female have similar plumage and size, reaching 122 centimeters in height and weighing from 22 to 45 kilograms. The head and back are black, the belly and legs are white, the chest is pale yellow and the ears are bright yellow. The body is elongated. Penguins cannot fly, have small and flat wings and paddle feet adapted to the aquatic environment. The daily food of the emperor penguin is fish but sometimes they also eat crustaceans, mollusks, soft-bodied animals and squid. While hunting, this species can dive underwater for over 18 minutes and dive up to 535 meters. They have some features that help them adapt to this condition, including a hemoglobin with an abnormal structure that allows it to function in low oxygen environments, solid bones to reduce pressure injuries, and the ability to reduce metabolism in its body and turn off unnecessary organ functions. Penguins only breed in the winter in Antarctica. They have to travel long distances from 50 to 120 kilometers, 31 to 75 miles on ice to reach the breeding area, where there are thousands of individuals. The lifespan of the emperor penguin is 20 years, although some individuals can live up to 50 years. Another flightless bird originating from Australia makes it into this list. Their name is emu, a bird belonging to the Australian ostrich family of the order Cassowariiformes. They are the second largest living bird in terms of height, after their relatives, the African ostrich. This is an endemic species of Australia, where it is the largest native bird and the only surviving member of the genus Dromaeus. Their distribution range covers most of the Australian continent, but the subspecies on Tasmania, Kangaroo Island and King Island have become extinct after Europeans settled in Australia in 1788. This bird is common enough to be rated as a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The emu is a flightless bird with a soft, brown feathered head and neck, long neck and legs, three-toed feet, and can be up to 1.9 meters tall. Emus can travel a very long distance and when necessary can sprint at speeds of 50 km per hour. They eat a variety of plants and insects, but have been known to be able to fast for several weeks. They drink water infrequently, but drink a lot of water when they have the opportunity. The average body weight ranges from 40 kg to 50 kg. The emu is an important popular cultural symbol of Australia, appearing on the coat of arms and various coins. This bird stands out in the native Australian mythology. This Australian ostrich has strong legs, which help them run at speeds of 50 km per hour, equivalent to the speed of an electric bike. Like other ostriches, they eat fruits, lizards, insects. The runner-up belongs to the southern cassowary or double-waddled cassowary, Cassowarius cassowarius. They are a cassowary species in the Australian ostrich family. The southern cassowary is found in southern New Guinea, northeastern Australia and the Aru Islands, mainly in the lowland areas. When mature, the southern cassowary is about 1.5 to 1.8 meters tall. Females can be up to 2 meters tall weighing 58.5 kilograms. They have wings but cannot fly, they can only run. When running, they raise their two wings and flap to balance. They run short but jump well and swim very well. On the head there is a large helmet that is the identifying feature of these ostriches. This is also the method of attracting mates when mating season comes. 
In 2007, the cassowary was recorded in the Guinness Book of Records with the title of the most dangerous bird in the world. On the little toe of the cassowary there is a long and sharp claw. When in danger, they often get angry and use their claws to attack the enemy. The claw of the middle toe can be up to 125 millimeters long. These claws are very scary when they use their legs to kick people and animals. Even in the herd, disputes often occur. The cassowary often destroys farms, crops, can injure people. Even just one stab can kill dogs, horses. Their long beaks are scary to look at. Their feet have very sharp claws. They can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour. They mainly eat grass, mushrooms, insects and usually have up to 8 to 10 large dark eggs. Riding on their backs to play must be fun, right? Compared to many other birds, the southern cassowary has a very admirable appearance but is a dangerous species, need to be careful. The top spot in the list of giant birds today belongs to the African ostrich. The African ostrich, scientific name, Struthio camelus, is a flightless bird, originating from Africa. It is the only surviving species of the family Struthionidae and the genus Struthio. They are very different in appearance with long necks and legs and can run at speeds of up to 65 km per hour, 40 miles per hour. The African ostrich weighs from 90 to 130 kg, 200 to 290 pounds. Some male ostriches have been recorded as weighing up to 155 kilograms, 340 pounds. The adult male has mostly black feathers with some white spots on the wings and tail. The female and the young have pale brown-gray feathers with some white spots. The male uses its small degenerate wings to dance to attract mates and shelter the chicks. With thick and black eyelashes, the eyes of the ostrich are the largest of any living land animal. At maturity, two to four years, the male ostrich is 1.8 to 2.7 meters tall. The female is 1.7 to 2 meters tall. In the first year, the ostrich chick grows 25 centimeters per month. One-year-old ostrich weighs 45 kilogram. The African ostrich lives in groups of 5 to 50 individuals, migrating with other grazing animals such as zebras or antelopes. They mainly eat seeds or grasses, sometimes they eat small animals such as grasshoppers. They have no teeth, they have to swallow stones to help grind food in the gizzard. They can go for a long time without water, relying only on the moisture of the grasses they swallow. However, they like water and often bathe. With their keen hearing and vision, they can detect predators such as lions from a distance. Thank you for joining the journey of exploring the largest birds in the world on Magnifying Glass TV. I hope you enjoyed and learned many new things from this video. Do you want to know more about other birds? If yes, please leave a comment and let me know. I look forward to hearing your opinions and feedback. If you like the content, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe to the channel to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. See you again in the next adventures on Magnifying Glass TV. Thank you for watching the video.